In this part, we are going to create a alert message. So instead of using the default alert message, we are going to use the help of the material UI, the snap bar, and also the alert component to create a message. So it will look like this, it will pop up, and then after a few seconds, it will disappear. And this is because this is the Firefox default alert message, so different people will have different type of alert if you do not use this component. So this is not just better looking, it also has a consistent alert message. But first we have to create a to-do context at our project because we will use this show alert method in all of the components. So at the root folder, we create a to-do context .js and then inside this, we are going to export constant. The to-do context is equal to create context and now, and then we import the create context from we add. So after we create the to do context, we are going to the index page, and then we are going to add a field state, and one of the state is from our dialog components. So at here we have to use the use state to open and close the dialog box so we copy this and paste to here and instead of using we add dot use state we are going to import it directly from the we add so we import the use state from we add and also we have to add two more state one is the alert type and then equal to use state is equal to success and then we type constant alert message and then set alert message is equal to use state and we set the empty string and this is for setting the alert message colors and this is setting the alert message so if you look at the documentations you can see we have a few type few color type so we go to the code we can see it can has error, warning, info, and success. So later we will use this and pass to our components to show different color. And now we are going to copy from the documentations and copy this netbar. And because we just want to display at the to-do form, after the to-do form, we paste it here. And then we go to import the snapbar from the material UI and also import the alert from the material UI and then we are going to pass the color and also the message to this component and so we use the state that we just created and pass to here and also we use the color that we just create the alert type and paste to here so we are going to set this so we have to create another method then which is show alert is equal to type and also the message and then we go to set the alert type to type and then we set the alert message to message and then we also set open to true so we have to pass this method to all of the components so later if we delete click delete at the list items or click the update or add a new item we have to show this message or execute the show alert functions so we have to pass this to all of the components so this time we have to use the to do context so we have to import from the to do context and then we type dot providers and then we pass the value and which is the show alert and then we have to cut this and put it in the end of our web to wrap the whole web so that we should be able to use inside our to-do form so we are going to use the show alert function instead of the default 
JavaScript alert functions. So we paste, replace this with show alert, and then we have to pass the color, and the color is success. And then we are going to get the functions by using the use context. So we get the show alert function, and then use context, and then we have to import the use context and also the to-do context. Now if we click on this, you can see there are handle close is not defined. So let's see what happened. And we have to copy these functions and paste to our index. So we go to the index and then we paste the handle close functions. So we back to our form and we try to type a new to-do and then new detail and click add new to do and it showed the dialog at here and we can also position at the centers rather than at the left corners and we can go to the snap bar and go to here and type anchor origin and we type vertical is bottom and the horizontal is center and we click save now if we try again and type another to do and click add and now you can see it is positioned at the bottom center